The science becomes philosophy when you actually look at the universe. Hey guys, uh, good morning. It's amazing how quickly the weather change on this planet. So if you compare the earth with a soccer ball, we are not even, the breathable atmosphere is not even like one millimeter on top of that soccer ball or football, whatever you call it. Beyond that, it's just empty space. When we look at this tiny planet, and I wonder as human beings, are we supposed to see the universe around us? Because none of the animals or any like living things, they don't have consciousness as we do. But as human beings, we do have consciousness. I mean, we do things more than the biological things. We can understand, we can make sense out of things. So maybe the universe around us is somehow there for us to look at it. When, when we look at the universe, the thing that amazes me always is, we are not looking at the present. We are looking at the past. So the closest object, let's say the sun for us, we are seeing sun that is seven minutes or eight minutes old. So it takes light eight minutes to come from sun to earth. But light travels at an amazing speed. And if you can travel at the speed of light, you can actually make seven rotations of the entire earth in like one second. Uh, the introduction I'm giving to you is because I wanted to take a picture of a space object. It's called Helix Nebula. It's also called as God's Eye. The moment I saw the picture of it, I said, I mean, it's, if it is truly God's eye, it, it's 625 light years from us. So it takes 625 years for God to see us. So God is looking at our ancestors right now, not us. And at the same time, we are looking at, I guess we are looking 625 years back, how God was. The science becomes philosophy when you actually look at the universe. Anyway, so I wanted to actually use Rasa to take the picture of Helix Nebula. I wanted to use like a color camera 